So guys, will we go psycho for this sauce? Let's find out. Let's for sure! Out. Welcome back to the Tasty Heat. We appreciate you stopping by and today we are excited to bring you the Psycho Curry by Torchbearer Sauces. Just a reminder, for those of you who haven't watched our other episodes, you really should. Mm -hmm. The last torchbearer sauce we got was... The Son, Son of Zombie. The Son of Zombie. Yeah. And yeah, it was the first one that got a 10. On first the 10. From you. Torchbearer, way From to go, me. guys. You set the bar high. Now we are excited. Yeah. To, to, well, I'm we're really, excited every time. I know, yeah. But they set the bar high. I hope this is a 10. Yeah. Or maybe 11. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Eleven would be ketchup. All right, man. This is weird. This is actually, weird. actually, one one thing that I'm curious is that they say accidentally healthy, intentionally delicious. So mm -hmm. I'm curious if it's going to be delicious. But this is a gluten-free sauce made with garlic, mm -hmm. habanero. So it's going to have some kick, mm -hmm. uh, coriander, uh, turmeric, and cumin. Mm -hmm. So pretty much it's going to be a nice. Curry. Indian, yeah, that's the curry, right? Yeah, yeah. a nice yeah. Indian Indian uh, uh, style mm -hmm. sauce. I'm going yeah. to cloves, mm -hmm. which I love. Mm -hmm. Cloves, they have these fresheners. And what's that? I don't Some know. weird seed. Fenugreek. Fenugreek seed. Fenugreek seed. Yeah. What the heck is that? I want it Vuta F. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> what's that flavor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That was right. a good yeah, good save. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, in general, this is it's going to be a really nice sauce. And I'm yeah. curious to, to taste it. So let's go for the taste. Let's jump in. Let's go. <gasps> let's go for our first impressions. Yeah. It's very creamy, like when I was pouring it, I can see. Wow, it's Vegeta! Vegeta, you, the Polish. Uh, the, 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 like the Vegeta seasoning. Yes, yeah, ah. but it mixed with everything, like for. for because soup. Vegeta in, in Vegeta. Yeah, Vegeta, like Sangoku. Yeah, that's yeah. like. I never oh, it smells like dragon. Okay, coffee. okay, okay, let, yeah, let's yeah, go for the yeah. taste finger. Yeah. Maggi. Oh, this is going to be cool. Mm -hmm. This chicken. Right off the bat, you know what I like more than uh, one of their other sauces that we've done? Mm -hmm. It's thicker. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it comes in this big bottle and it's liquidy, mm -hmm. but I think this is going to stick to the chicken. Oh, and you right. remember the last okay. uh, sauce with this uh, garlic have the same, uh, uh, like it will consistency. Have yeah. The same consistency. Yeah. And I, I thought, I remember, I say I don't like it. Mm -hmm. And right now when I smell it, I have the same and I taste it. I think I will not like it. Mm -hmm. And right now I know why. Because I think this sauce will be nice when you put some meat mm -hmm. and uh, cook this. Yeah, this ah, is yeah. like a curry sauce. Yeah. 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 Oh, so not good. like this right now, like not boiled. Mm. Look at, that's a good marriage. Mm -hmm. That's a great marriage between the chicken. Because when we make, we taste with the finger, Mm -hmm. Garlic is on the front, mm -hmm. and now it opens. And the habanero. This is funny because sometimes wow. I think that habanero is really mm -hmm. crunchy, not and, this. and not this one comes in the end. Mm -hmm. David, share your thoughts with us. Yeah, I'm happy to. Um, torch bear, you guys did it again. Uh, really great sauce. Let me caveat that by saying you didn't do it again and get a ten. Mm -hmm. You didn't do it again, and you didn't get a 10, but you got a great sauce. Um, I'm just gonna go straight off and say, uh, I gotta give it an eight. You know, it's, it's, it's a great, great sauce. Um, I wanna try it, like Simon said, you know, where, where kind of like I dice up some chicken and I boil it like mm -hmm, a curry, mm -hmm. and, and let, let it simmer for a while, put it on some rice, actually make a curry oh, with it. Wow. And then I might be able to rate it up a little bit, so maybe that's another video that we'll do. But uh, I like it a lot. I like that the, there's a lot of the mustard hint in there. I, I, I like that mustard. I like the, the flavoring. Mm -hmm. um, it just, it reminds me 
of a of a nice curry and not like a tikka masala, not like a butter chicken or something. Yeah. You know the typical tomato base. Yeah, yeah. This is a good middle ground because I don't like the green curries. The red curries are overdone, mm -hmm. and this is right there in the middle. It's a, it's a great sauce. And on the heat, two. I mean, it has habanero in there, and it's it's right at the very end. It's a very complimentary it, yeah. one. It's not like it does. It's not the main roll. It's not. It's not the roll. I mean, it, it, it's it's a good Indian dish. I yeah. mean, Indian uh, support. You know, yeah. the chili is a support, not not something else. So, mm -hmm. eight on taste, two on heat. Great sauce. Way to go, Torchbearer. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play around with this one and, and see what else I can do. Simon, what's wow. your thoughts? Guys, Simon. I say in the beginning, I think I do, I will not like this sauce because. In my mind, it's not ketchup. <laughs> In my mind, it's mm, it's more for cooking. Mm -hmm. Like mix with chicken and cook this. Mm -hmm. And I I thought the garlic will be more grow, mm -hmm. like more adult. Mm -hmm. How you call it? I don't know how you call this different way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you smell it, like mm, it's too raw garlic for me. Mm -hmm. But when you try this with chicken, wow! I changed my. Opinion. Mm -hmm. It's it's awesome sauce. Okay. Eight for taste mm -hmm. for sure, mm -hmm. and I think three for uh, heat. Yeah. For me, but really comfortable heat. Yeah. I also uh, I, I'm in the middle because it's also it's a great sauce, a great curry mm -hmm. sauce. Like mm -hmm. if you'd make curry at home, I think you you couldn't achieve this flavor alone. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the taste will be an eight. It's a solid eight, I think. Mm -hmm. This is this is not even less, not even. Uh, uh. I I don't say sixty second. Can I say one more? Okay. Because you say it's curry, and I forgot. Because I won't say. For <laughs> me, this is more like I don't know why, but more style like uh, uh, honey and garlic than yeah. curry style. Mm -hmm. Maybe because mustard and yeah. it's a bit sweet for me. There, there's definitely a sweetness in there, and for me, I actually taste a lot more of the the mustard. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I'm thinking about mm -hmm. it, 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 to me, I just had another bite, and I'm like, wow, that would be good on a hot dog. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but but it's the, I prefer to taste the mustard than to taste vinegar sometimes yeah. on the sauces. So this mustard is quite. Yeah, no, I, I don't have a problem with the mustard. I think the mustard's yeah. a great flavor, and then the other spices add on top. Mm -hmm. and I, I'm a fan of mustard. Just a great. So as I was saying before, someone interrupted me. <laughs> it's yeah. a solid date. It was me. Yes, it was. Uh, as I was saying, it's a solid date. Mm -hmm. On the taste mm -hmm. and and believe it or not, salmon. It's a two on the heat, <laughs> not a three. Mm -hmm. It's there. You can feel it, but it's not our typical habanero. I would say oh, it's not the no, no. punchy in the front habanero. It comes actually in the first bite I got. I thought that there was no spicy, mm -hmm. and then it comes much later. So mm -hmm. it, it, it's funny. This fenugreek seed. Yeah, no, I tasted that. That, taste. was, that was amazing. That's the best fennel Greek seed I've ever had, right? I have no idea what it we is. We the uh, same I, sauce? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I'm gonna so. get it on Wikipedia. Yeah. Yeah, hey! Who know what is the new Greek? I want to say this. Yeah, try new Greek seed. Uh -huh. WTF. This is uh, the, the what the flavor. flavor. Again, guys, we get a very solid sauce from Torchbearer mm. Sauces. Yeah. Uh, great flavor. I can enjoy We actually eat almost a whole bowl of chicken. <laughs> well, there's almost only three pieces. I think we should finish them. And uh, until next time. Feel the burn, but in a good way. Hey guys, if you like this video and want to try the featured sauce, then don't forget to check out our online store at www.thetastyheat.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Tasty Heat. I'm from uh, Europe. I'm different kind. We don't have barbecue. We have we have grill. So you go to the shop and you say poproche grill sauce or barbecue. Sauce. You have grill sauce? <laughs> Man, I do not get you sometimes. It's been freaking weeks. Christmas, New Year's, ups and downs. Will it go psycho for this sauce? Wait, because he kicked the table like. This is crazy. I know. And here's my number. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome have, back. We only have 256 gigas on the card on the camera. So we just use know. 240. You want to make this and you make... Uh, oh, we are funny. It's the spot. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Who first? Salmon. No, I don't want to be first. <laughs> sorry, sorry.
Someone slept well today. Mm -hmm. Okay, dosidio yes. finish. I'm gonna take him out of the room yeah. so you can finish telling the people yeah. what you said. No, but look, so.